the 5th of February. Are we gonna get started? You sh 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 you're dang right we are, yes. We're gonna do that. Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. Uh, it's so cold, my name's Captain Explody. Oh. And I am going to be playing Animal Crossing today for you. I'm doing that for you. I hope you understand the benefits of me doing this for you. Of which there are many, I assume. I haven't got the pamphlet yet that would explain all of the benefits just yet to me. But I assume there are many, many benefits to watching this show. Did you know that this show, we have a study in the opera today on a study in coconut farm. As always, we have a wide variety of other items as well. Why not stop by? This show actually gives you more um, vitamin C in your diet. You know how you have to go to like the dentist or the doctor or someone and he gives you the big injection of vitamin C? You know how, right? Like the only possible way for anybody to get vitamin C is to go to the doctor and then he gives you this, this jab and stab. I mean, I mean the big one. He really fucking sticks that thing right into you. And I'm talking about a needle here. Okay. The, the, the jab and stab, right? Uh, for the vitamin C. Well, this game, if watching me play this game, gives you the same amount of vitamin C benefits as 0.4 injections by the doctor. So really, if you if you if you get if you watch this show like two and a half times, that's basically like one shot of vitamin C from the doctor, and I think that's a pretty good investment because when you go to the doctor, you have to <coughs> excuse me, I had a cough there. I'm not sick. You're sick. I'm fine. What's this? A worthy picking? Oh my goodness! I'm gonna take that. I'm fine, evidence alright. Oh my god. I'm just cold is all, that's all that the issue is right here. So that's fine. Um, no, I need to sell. So if you watch two and a half episodes of this show, it's like going and getting one of those shots, which is really good, right? Because those shots, are, number one, are expensive, right? Number two, it takes time for the doctor to like set them up and then put them in and stuff. That's time he could be better spent you know, um, cracking spines or doing a heart surgery, for example, or putting your dislocated fingers back into place, for example. These are just examples of some of the shenanigans that doctors get up to. Obviously, I don't want to reveal all of the doctor's secrets. All of the doctor's secrets will be revealed in the book, The Doctor's Secrets, available on Tuesday. But which Tuesday? That's the mystery. And I'll never tell. Because I'm no snitch. What do I look like? Some fucking snitch like these two punks? I mean, take a look at these two guys, right? They were in prison. They're like absolutely the first ones to be like, it was him! He sold me the orange juice. I don't know if you're allowed orange juice in the prison. I've never been to prison. Or so I would have you believe. I mean, you don't know. You know, you have no idea if I've been in a prison. But so long as it's uh, your belief, I've never been to a prison. So keep that in mind, okay? Bear the prison in mind that you've never been to it. No, I've never been to prison. See, now I'm getting confused. I need to get my vitamin C juice booster. And that will help me with all of the issues that people have when they have a vitamin C deficiency, such as brain movement, which is the issue I have today. My brain is just not on the move. It's low down and dirty. It doesn't know what's going on. It's a bad time. So I need to get that brain in order. That's my delicious brain. That's what I need. And I can do it. I can achieve it with the help of the vitamin C booster or Two and a half episodes of Captain Explody playing Animal Crossing, which everybody loves and nobody hates. It's got rave reviews all across the board. What board? Wow, thank you for asking. 
first of all. Second of all, the board of directors. Which board of directors? Wow, I'm so happy you have a vested interest in my brand. Let me explain further. The board of directors. No! Ow! Oh wait, I have to do it. I have to give him the painting. This is perfect. I was like, I was trying to play with a snowball outside. But no, I'm going to give him a painting. I have a painting for you, little boy. And he's like, I'm a grown man that runs a museum. And I'm like, that's right, little boy. Quite a worthy painting has already been donated to the museum. Uh-oh. Who was our noble benefactor? It was me. He donated this. Hmm, multiple copies of the very same masterpiece. I do hope you're not printing these in your basement. <laughs> uh, uh, uh oh. Yes. Well, goodbye, Mr. Museum Bird. I hope uh, nothing happens to you. Goodbye. Uh oh. I'm in trouble with the police now. There it is. He's gonna, as soon as I leave this fucking place, he'll be like, bye now, bye! Oh, it's good to see anybody who comes in. Bye bye! Oh, hi! Hello, is this the police? I have a scoop. That means something good. Basically, this guy came in with a counterfeit painting, but we already had the painting, so it must be counterfeit, unless ours is counterfeit. That can't possibly be true because we're a museum. And we museum this kind of stuff. We, 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 we look after this kind of thing. There's no way that this, this, our copy is a counterfeit. No, sir. It must be his copy. So come and arrest this thief. Yes, I know I have kept you on the phone for a long time. And the thief is probably long gone by now. I am aware of this. But please, still, come and arrest him. I'll be here at 48th Street, Museum Way, inside the museum. You'll know who I am because I'm the guy in the museum. And I'm a bird. And I talk a lot. So those are the three clues. Also, I will give you my full name and address if you need it. You don't need the address, but I, I, you know, I just like talking to people. I like giving it out just in case you wanted to send me a present, maybe? Give me a little, give me a little birthday present, you know, but that's optional. Anyway, call me back when you get this message because like I said, he's got counterfeit painting. Probably up to something. I don't want to trust his little face. His silly little he's up to something. Anyway, give me a call back. I'll see you. My name is Blathers. I run the museum. If you wanted to stop by into the museum, that would be nice because we don't get a whole lot of people. Except this other guy who came in. He's the only guy who like donates stuff to the museum. I don't go and get shit for the museum. I wait for people to donate stuff. And he, he donates stuff all the time, and it's normally totally legit, but this time he came in with a painting that was the same painting as another painting that he already left us before. Deeply suspicious. You understand my suspicion, surely. As the police, you can you can understand where I'm coming from here, yes? But he's the only one he ever visits, so what's he up to? You know? Um, anyway, so... If you could give me a ring. Or just call up, I think. That would be nice. If you, if you guys just called up. You police boys, it'd be nice to see you. You know, how often have you been to the museum, <laughs> right? You know, it's just, it's, just, it's just a little joke, really, but you can come to the museum. I'll show you around, it'd be really nice, you know? Um, it wouldn't be weird. I know you probably think museums are, are weird, but no, I'd make it a nice time for you. The policemen, lots of policemen, four or five police boys all around me. You know, inside my little museum, all by myself, my pokey little museum, you know. Um, I mean, I could accommodate that for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could I could definitely swing that. But, uh, you know, let me know. Like I said, let me know how, how things are going, if you're if you guys are coming up. Love to see you guys, I really would, you know. Um, you'd send, like, two cop cars full of people. I mean, full of people. You could probably fit, like, four, five is it four or five people in a, in a cop car? You know, so send them all over. I'll, I'll I'll be happy happy to talk to them. You know, the cops. That'd be nice. I mean, just talk for for the moment. Really, we'll just uh, we'll just get to know each other. You know, but uh, I think that'd be best. Hey, yeah, like I said, dude. Let me know. Give me a call. Let me know how it goes. 
Where's this fucking snowball at? Where'd it go? Ah, uh, tree patrol. Er, er, er. Where is it? Er, er, er. There it is. I find it. Is it irresponsible for me to cut down trees in order to find a big snowball I'm making? Yes, no. Please leave answers in comments. And I will read all the answers right after I talk to the police boys about being policemen. Where did the other snowball go? Where did I leave him? Where did he go? I thought I left him down here. What the heck are you who? Oh, there he is. I know exactly what's going on, Snipper. I don't know what help me, I don't know. Can I use that head a little bit bigger? Oh, where's this gear we go? I did it, another snowman, another perfect snowman. They should call me the snowman because I'm an artist. They should do that, they should. Will they? Probably not, because they're all criminals. And you know what happens to the criminals? The criminals all go to a bad criminal house. The bad criminal house, by the way, is what they call prison. Just in case you were unaware of what bad criminal house meant, that's what it means. Hello! Oh, I'm so sniffy. Ugh! Why is it so cold today? What the heck? Give me work. It has been a while since you left. Oh, oh, I can't. Mitzi's not home. Oh, I have to get a Game Boy from Mitzi. Dude, you know how many times I've been trying to steal a Game Boy from Mitzi's house? Four times. And she catches me three times. And one time I got away with it, but I felt really bad. I'm like, no, I don't want to steal Mitzi's Game Boy. I'm going to give Mitzi's Game Boy back to Mitzi. So Mitzi can have it. And Mitzi can play Tetris. And then Mitzi got her Game Boy back, and then she started playing Tetris. She was like, oh, Tetris rules. And I was like, dude, I know, it's so good, right? Maybe you want to, like, get a milkshake? And then she was like, hey, I have to go. But it was in her house, so she just stood around. And then I'm like, do you want me to go? And she's like, ah, if you want. And I'm like, ah, I should, I should probably go. This is weird, me just standing here. I probably should leave, you know? And then I did, I left. I got out of there. I did, I really made a beeline. That's what they say, they say beeline. And I heard them say that. So that, that means it's true that they say that. See, Mitzi's not here. Mitzi's not here. But this, 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 this. Is it possible you're avoiding me? I would like it if the Animal Crossing, could Animal Crossing please give an update to this so that they don't always say the same thing. Uh, oh, excuse me. So they don't always say the same things, that would be nice. But I'm just suggesting things for Animal Crossing to do. They don't have to listen to me. Although, if I were them, I would listen to me. And I should make it clear that I am not Animal Crossing. This is a disclaimer. Hey, ooh, money. Money, money. Let's see if we can build another one with, with this one. Yeah. We're gonna put that back in the hole. Very low. Oh, it's so deep in the hole. So, whatever. What was I talking about? Animal Crossing? I didn't invent Animal Crossing. Sorry if that burst anybody's bubbles. But I'm just playing it. I didn't come up with it. I just saw it on the TV and thought it was a good ad dizzle. That means good idea. Snoop Dogg speak. I have I have listened to Snoop Dogg speaking forty times. I have I have emulated his speech patterns immaculately. So now me and Snoop Dogg are basically the same person. And I don't know how you feel about that. A lot of people aren't happy. That's a fact. They are bummed out. They're like, really? This guy is Snoop Dogg? And I'm like, hello, it's me, Snoop Dogg. I mean, we're both, I mean, we're separate entities, sure, but we're both basically the same person. That's the way me and Snoop would describe it anyway. And so that's legit. There is Mitzi, but I can't give you your present. It's so warm inside this igloo. Oh, it's so toasty in here. It is, isn't it? I'm glad you stopped by. I'm starting to get bored. Well, then let's play Un Game. 
That means one game. Yes. We're gonna play a game with five pieces of furniture here. I'd like you to buy one. See, here's what I'll do. I'll say it's one thing of price. One at a time. And you holler when you hear what you like. If you don't say anything at all, you'll be forced to buy the fifth one, whatever that is. The first one is a snowy tree model. One, two, four, oh. I think that's, that's nice. I'll take that. I'm glad you like it. Here you go. Thank you, Mitzi. What a lovely surprise. Enjoy Mew. I will enjoy Mew. Me and Mew go back a long ways. Me and Mew. I caught a Mew one time. Is it fair to say you caught a Mew when the guy from Nintendo gives you a Mew? You know what I mean? I caught it! Somebody gave it to you. You didn't catch it. So, did I catch a Mew? Debatable. Is this a debate I'm willing to have? Certainly not. So, I want to deposit some stuff because we got all sorts of fucking money. How much am I paying? Let's pay 30. I think that's fine. So we're still quite a ways away. 700 and whatever. So we're a lot of numbers away from the big business. 740. But that's fine. If I post these letters, then I will get more money in return. Whenever I make my return to the game, I'll make my money back here. Whatever that means. I don't know. Don't come to me for like facts and figures and stuff. That's not me, man. It's not me. I ain't no facts and figures, man. I'm just a f f f f idiot. <laughs> I swear to myself. I didn't know what I was going to say. And then I said it. Oh my goodness. What a rebel. What a boy. Well, I mean, what a man. Yeah, that's right. That sounds more manly. I find that whenever you're trying to sound more manly, describe yourself as a man. As opposed to a boy. And you'll sound 100% more manly. That's a fact. I'm just throwing my facts left and right over here. What the... I think I made myself quite clear with that. So the worthy painting I'm going to put upstairs. The other thing I'm going to put downstairs. Turn the lights up. See, I think that if I put this right here. See, these go together. I need to make a space for all of these little models. To see what that does. I think that would be neat. Neat and nice. Oh, I went downstairs. When I went in, to go upstairs. Let's put my painting right here. At least the cool thing about the new ones is you can put the paintings on the walls. I would very much like to put my painting on the wall. Because it's a delight. It's a real... You know, I earned that painting by, by buying... I didn't pick that one out of the dump. I bought that one. I really meant it too. It's almost Valentine's Day. Uh oh, is it? No, it's the fifth. All right. Well, this was fun. I had a great time. Today is over. We're done. I don't know what else to do, so we're not gonna do anything else. We're gonna call it a day there. Uh. Well, thanks for watching this garbage, everybody. I will see you tomorrow for some more garbage. Good day. Don't um, do nothing bad because I will be watching. Bye. <laughs>